today we will discuss about the topic nutrition first i would like to give the definition about the nutrition most of the person think that nutrition is just only intake of something but nutrition is quite differ for just not in taking about the nutrients it in take as well as utilization of the nutrients then we will discuss about the about the different kind of of organism on the basis of nutrition first we have discussed that nutrition is not just only intake of nutri uh, nutrients but uh, as well as utilization of the nutrients then on the basis of nutrition we can divide organism in two category first there will be autotrophic organism and second will be heterotrophic organism these two are the major categorization of the animals on the basis of nutrition first we will discuss about autotrophic mode of nutrition if i divide this autotrophic word we can have auto and trophic it means that they are self dependent they can prepare prepare their own food but how is it possible for an organism to produce its food by itself to produce the food first they need some basic inorganic substance and these inorganic substance they will get from outside the body it means they will get these inorganic substance from surrounding then how they produce their food in presence of these inorganic substance they have an important process that name photosynthesis 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 if i discuss photosynthesis is a process to produce food in presence of some inorganic substance then first i would like to discuss about the simple equation of photosynthesis this simple equation can be written like that 6 co2 plus 12 h2 in presence of light and chlorophyll the food will be produced and the food will be in form of glucose oxygen plus water they will produce glucose oxygen and water when they use co2 
and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Next, we'll discuss about how can they produce food in presence of these inorganic substances. They have power to trap. They have power to trap solar energy. But how they can trap solar energy? This is a big question for us. But how they can trap solar energy? If we will discuss about the structure of green plants and all of the plants which have chlorophyll, they all have ability to trap the solar energy. So we can say that in the process of photosynthesis, light energy will convert in then I would again discuss the important point that light energy will convert in chemical energy. This is an important phenomena that in this process of photosynthesis light energy will convert in chemical energy and these chemicals will be helpful for not only in plants this food will be used by all of the herbivores as well as all organism which directly or indirectly depend on directly and indirectly depend on plant so we can simply say that plant are not producing food for themselves they are producing food for whole food chain not only producing for themselves then we'll discuss about how the plant can get raw materials of the photosynthesis first we'll discuss about the raw material of the raw material of the photosynthesis let's discuss about the raw materials of the photosynthesis first we have carbon dioxide carbon dioxide we all know that present in surrounding in an amount of 0.03 percent and carbon dioxide is very important in the process of photosynthesis because carbon molecule of glucose will be formed by these carbon dioxide how the plant can get carbon dioxide from the surrounding environment we all know that plant having small pores like structure and these pore like structure is known as stomata and by the process of opening and closing of stomata plant can exchange their gases next not only stomata are the site of respiration for the plant besides stomata they also have lenticles for the respiration and they also have root for the process of exchange of gases exchange of gases next the thing which is important that still we are trying to make it possible that how can plant produce food in presence of these inorganic substances we have two raw materials first there is co2 and we have discussed about how the plant can get co2 next is water we all know that plant will get water from roots they have root system and they get water from roots and co2 and water both are the raw materials of the photosynthesis next discuss about the light and the importance of chlorophyll for us in respect of photosynthesis next discuss about the 
chlorophyll what the chlorophyll have their importance in the process of photosynthesis before starting chlorophyll first i would like to discuss about the plastid we are familiar about this word because plastid is a kind of cell organelle present inside present inside the plant present inside the plant and they help in the process of the help in the process of of producing color but we cannot say that ki um, plants just only have green colors plant can be of different colors it may be green it may be other than green so we can divide plastid we can divide plastid in three types on the basis of their colors first there will be chlorophyll first there will be chlorophyll simple division of chlorophyll which provide green color we all know that green color is a part present in leaves and present in most of the area where photosynthesis will occur except this if i discuss about the colors of plant let discuss about chromoplast before starting chromoplast i would give some detail about the chlorophyll is that chlorophyll is a kind of pigment which present inside the plant and chlorophyll is a part of a pigment name chloroplast next we we'll discuss about the chromoplast chromoplast is a part which provide provide other than green color we know that plant flowers color petals color leaves color sometimes leaves will be of different type so they can be of different type because they are red in color they can be purple they can be blue they can be pink and other kind of colors will be present so these color which are other than green will be due to the presence of chromoplast other than green color we know that different kind of algae like red algae like green algae golden brown algae green algae will have chloroplast they have chloroplast because they are green in color they have chloro plast because they are green in color and other kind of algae which are not green in color they have other than green pigment which can be of chromoplast next we will discuss about the different kind of chloroplast that will be third type and this third type will be leucoplast before starting leucoplast first i will give you the brief description about the leucoplast that leucoplast are colorless it means they do not provide any color next my question will be there okay, if they are not providing color what the important function they can play inside the plant they can store the food it means the important function will be food storage and we all know that food storage 
can be of three type. First, start storing leucoplast. That will be start storing start storing leucoplast. That will store starch. They have a scientific name. There will be a myeloplast. Next, next term will be used to store protein. It means protein store protein storing leucoplast will be proteinoplast. And they have another name that is alluroplast. Next, we all know that there are three major nutrients for a plant that are carbohydrate, protein and starch. Carbohydrate will present in form of starch and we all know that the storage food of plant will be starch. Next, the fat storing leucoplast will be known as alioplast. We have a mass number of example inside plant which store starch, protein and fat. We have an example of amyloplast will be we have potato. In case of protein we have pulses. In case of fat we have oil. It means food oil. Next, this is a brief description about the pigment known as plastid present only in plant. The thing which is important that how chloroplast work. That's very important that how chloroplast work in the aspect of photosynthesis. We all know that chloroplast having chlorophyll which will be important and chlorophyll having ability to trap the solar energy.